Good morning students. In this commerce class, we are going to see the chapter 22, Types of Trade. Learning Objectives. So in this lesson, you will be learning about what is the meaning of trade, what are the features of trade and what are the different types of trade. Introduction. Under barter system in olden days, goods were exchanged for goods. After the invention of money as a medium of exchange, all purchases are made in exchange of money. Similarly, sale transactions are possible in the exchange of money. So in the olden days, what type of practice was there? It was barter system. We have seen it already. That is goods were exchanged for goods so only after the invention of money they used money as a medium of exchange to buy and sell goods so transactions that is the buying and selling were made possible by the exchange of money trade it is an important branch of commerce means buying and selling of goods trade activities include Group of peoples, merchants, middlemen or traders. Traders buy goods from the producers and sell them to the consumers. So trade, it is a branch of commerce. And what is the meaning of trade? It is buying and selling of goods. And the people who are involved in this, the producers, the merchants, middlemen are there, traders. So here the people, that is the consumers. All these people are included in this trade activities. And these traders, what they do, they buy the goods, products from the producer and sell them to the consumers. So the producers, if you see, they produce the goods in large quantities and they find it difficult to sell it directly to the consumers because consumers are not in one place. They are scattered in different places in different countries so the goods which are produced has to reach the consumers so this trade connects the producers as well as the consumers so this trade helps to connect the producers and the consumers and it helps the goods to reach the people or the consumers who are in need of it. Trade meaning. The buying and selling of goods and services consist of trade. The essence of trade is to make goods and services available to those persons who need them and are able and willing to pay for them. So what is meant by trade? It is the buying and selling of goods and services. So, the importance of trade is what? That is, it is to make the goods and services available to the persons who are in need of them. And who, another thing is what? And who are able to buy the products, who are willing to buy the products. So, another important uh, importance of trade is, that is, it is carried to earn profit to uh, that is this trade buying and selling is done to earn the profit and this trade it acts as an intermediary that is a connection between the consumers and the producers it makes the goods and services available to the consumer classification of trade so according to the geographical location of the buyers and sellers, we can divide the trade into two. One is home trade and the other one is foreign trade. And home trade is further divided into wholesale trade and retail trade. And foreign trade is divided into import trade, export trade and entrepot trade. We'll see one by one. Internal trade. Buying and selling of goods and services within the boundaries of a nation are called internal trade. 
so it takes place between buyers and sellers in the same locality village town or city or in different states but definitely within the same country internal trade is also called domestic trade or home trade so internal trade home trade or domestic trade it is called by different names so it is nothing but the buying and selling of goods and services within the boundaries of a nation within a country that is called as internal trade and this internal trade takes place between the buyers and sellers in the same locality so it is in the same locality or village or town or cities or different states but it should be within the country features of internal trade so the buying and selling of goods takes place within the boundaries of the same country so in an internal trade buying and selling it takes place within the same country next payment for goods and services is made in the currency of the home country so in india if you take buying and selling of goods it takes place by money that is rupees we pay the money to buy the products whatever currency which is used in our country we use them in the internal trade next it involves transaction between the producers consumers and the middlemen so here the transaction takes place the buying and selling takes place between the producer consumer and the middlemen so the middlemen are the person who gets the products from the producers and make it reach the consumers next it consists of a distribution network of middlemen and agencies engaged in the exchange of goods and services so as i already told you middlemen they are the distributors that is from the producers they get the products and they make it available to the consumers yes and next in home trade the risk of transportation is very less when compared to the foreign trade so here risk so the goods can be safely transported from one place to another place within the country and there is less risk compared to the foreign trade in transportation the next feature of internal trade is the aim of home trade is to provide the goods and services economically that is the goods and services has to be sold to the people economically that is at less cost that is all the people should be able to buy the goods next the goods must be a part of domestic production so the goods has to be produced in the country goods must be purchased from an individual or a firm established within a country next the goods that has to be purchased by an individual so that has to be purchased from an individual or from a firm a company which is established in our country goods can be delivered using locally available modes of transport so whatever transport is available in our country road transport air transport water transport whatever it is it can be used as a mode of transport next it does not involve any customs and import duty but buyers need to pay the taxes to the government so here there is no customs or import duty but what the buyers have to do they have to pay the tax for the goods they buy they have to pay the tax to the government next the types of internal trade so internal trade can be divided into two one is wholesale trade and retail trade wholesale trade purchase of goods in bulk from the manufacturers and selling them in smaller quantities to other intermediaries is known as wholesale trade so here in the wholesale trade the goods are 
purchased in bulk that is in large quantities they buy the products from the manufacturers from the producers and they sell them in smaller quantities to other intermediaries that is the intermediaries are the middlemen the agencies so to the retail shops they sell it okay next retail trade retail trade deals with the distribution of goods in small quantities to the consumers so here the retail traders they buy the goods from the wholesalers the wholesalers they buy the goods in bulk in large quantities from the producers and these retailers they get the buy the goods from the wholesalers and they sell the goods in small quantities to the consumers so you might have seen by near your house many retail shops small shops selling the goods in small quantities foreign trade meaning so foreign trade is otherwise called as external trade or international trade so foreign trade is a trade between a seller and buyer of different countries so here the foreign trade takes place between the countries so it involves the exchange of goods and services of one country with another country so the goods and services the exchange of goods and services takes place between countries mostly shipping and air transport are used for the carriage of goods in international trade so for transportation shipping and air transport is used in foreign trade and with regard to currency if you take the currencies of the trading countries that is a two with the trading takes place between two or more countries and the currencies of these countries are taken into account for the buying and selling of goods and sometimes there may be a common agreeable currency also for this foreign trade so the types of foreign trade import trade export trade and entrepot trade so the first one is import trade so import trade means buying goods from a foreign country for domestic use so import trade it is a buying purchasing of goods and services from a foreign country for the purpose of domestic use so for example if you see india it imports the petroleum products from the gulf countries and also india imports machinery equipment materials from other countries so we have to in our country if you see we have to speed up the industrialization to meet the consumers demands and also to improve the standard of living of the consumers export trade export trade means the sale of domestic goods to foreign countries so export trade is export trade or foreign traders selling of domestic goods to foreign countries it is called as export trade and some of the examples are export of iron ore from india to japan selling of tea from india to england export of jasmine flowers from madurai to singapore so why this export trade is necessary so it is necessary because to we are able to sell the surplus products to other countries whatever is produced in surplus in our country we are able to sell it to other countries and next thing whatever resources which are available in our country it is best used that is utilization of the resources and next it earns foreign exchange export trade earns foreign exchange and also it increases the national income of our country and it creates employment opportunities also and it increases the government revenue so for all these reasons the export trade is necessary next what are india's important exports and import items so first we'll see the export items 
So export items of India are petroleum products, jewellery, automobile, biochemicals, pharmaceuticals. And what are the import items? Mineral fuels including oil, gem, precious and semi-precious, metals, electrical machinery and equipments, machinery including computers, organic chemicals. So these are some of the important export and import items of India. Entrepot trade. Entrepot trade means importing of goods from one country and exporting the same to foreign countries. So entrepot trade is buying of goods from one country and again exporting the same goods or making certain changes in the goods and exporting the goods to foreign countries. So it is also called as re-export trade. Entrepot trade is also called as re-export trade. Re-export because we are buying it from one country and again we are making certain changes in that product and we are selling it to other country. So it is called as re-export trade. For example, Indian diamond merchants in Surat import uncut raw diamonds from South Africa. So what they do is they cut it, polish it and in, in India they do this work and again they re-export them to the international diamond market in Amsterdam. So the largest entrepot trade centers of the world are Singapore, Dubai, Hong Kong. These are the largest entrepot trade centers in the world. Thus, it can be concluded that effective transfer of possession and ownerships from the producer to consumer is facilitated by trade. So, we in this lesson, we have learned what is trade. That is, the buying and selling of goods and services is called as trade. And trade is divided into two. One is internal trade and the other one is external trade. So, internal trade is buying and selling of goods within the boundaries of a country. And external trade is selling and buying of goods from other countries. So, these are the two types of trade. Thank you students.